We all know how the moon was formed, right? Actually, with this new study, we could be wrong. Supernova style science news with Jelly Seven Sage. What we have all been taught is that a large object named Thea came in and hit the early Earth and ejected part of our upper crust, which then formed the moon. However, the upper crust is very metal poor compared to the lower layers. And according to this new study by Assam Heggy from JPL and University of Southern California, Elizabeth Palmer from the University of Southern California, Thomas Thompson from JPL, Bradley Thompson from the University of Tennessee, and Gerald Patterson from Johns Hopkins University found a lot higher metal content in the moon than previously thought. The fine dust at the bottom of craters is dust from deeper inside the moon that gets kicked up when a meteorite crashes into the surface. When comparing the dust in deeper craters to those in shallower craters, they found a higher metal content in those deeper craters. This shows that there could be an even greater concentration of metal beneath the surface, definitely more than what is in the upper crust of the Earth. If this is the case, this can change a lot about how we think the moon is formed. There are three possibilities as to why the moon has a higher metal content. One, when Thea hit the Earth, it was a harder impact than we thought and went deeper into the Earth and kicked up material from further within. Two, Thea hit Earth earlier than we thought when the Earth still had a magma ocean. Or three, when the moon started cooling down, it was a more complicated cool down that has been suggested by several scientists before. Any of these possibilities would be incredibly interesting, and the scientists have said they're going to continue studying it. If you want to know more about this study, check out the links below. If you want more cool science news, follow. Remember to share cool science stories with your friends to show your supernova style.